Today in the news, we got another slimmed down version of Windows, some wafer contaminations, and Epic Games snatching up more games. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Microsoft. It seems like no matter what they do, no one is buying the idea of a slimmed down or cut down Windows experience, but it doesn't seem like they're going to stop trying. After the failures of uh, Windows Mobile and Windows 10 S being less popular than expected, it seems like a new OS is in the works called Windows Lite. The website MS Power User reported on this last week, adding that this new OS will apparently feature a brand new start menu by leaving the tile system behind. Ditching tiles isn't really surprising to me. I mean, the only time I'm in there is when I have a fresh Windows install and I'm trying to remove as much clutter from the start menu as possible. This new version is also likely to be stuck with Windows Store only compatibility, similar to Windows 10 S. I'm guessing that this new light version will Will probably be very useful for ARM based computers and will compete with Chrome OS, unless Microsoft is planning to phase out Windows 10 S. Moving on, TSMC, the company behind so many computer chips, just had a chemical contamination problem at their Fab 14B. This contamination caused the company to shut down the Fab temporarily and caused between 10,000 and 30,000 defective wafers. Wafers are basically where a chip's life begins, so if it's contaminated, you can have to discard hundreds of chips. TSMC is responsible for a lot of product in the silicon industry, like CPUs, GPUs, and more from companies like AMD, NVIDIA, Huawei, and 11 others. Fab 14B is one of TSMC's gigafactories, which means that they produce around 100,000 wafers per month, so 10 to 30,000 wafers is a large chunk of their production. This could cause a price increase in the next few months in some of the products that they cover, or it could just mean scarce availability on some SKUs, although the two factors often go hand in hand. Hopefully, they fix this issue as soon as possible because I'm not ready for a price inflation on our PC components again. With the additional downtime lost to resolving the issue, that means TSMC might lose out on a lot more wafers. At least some of these wafers might be able to be salvaged, although those will need to be thoroughly inspected. Next up in gaming, it seems like Epic Games is snatching up more exclusives every month. Last month, games like Super Me Boy Forever, Hades and Ashen were announced for the store and now Metro Exodus is joining in as an exclusive. The weird thing here is that this Metro game was available for pre-sale on Steam. Don't worry though, if you bought the game on Steam, Metro will honor the purchase and deliver the game through the Valve store, but Steam is definitely not happy about it, calling the practice unfair. The game will stay as an exclusive to the Epic Store for a year after the release date of February 15th. The weird thing here is that the DLC content for the game will still be released to both stores at the same time to accommodate pre-sales on Steam. Basically, we're gonna have the DLC available on Steam, but not the actual game until February of 2020. It's a pretty weird situation to say the least, and I would expect people who pre-ordered on Steam to refund their pre-sale and buy it on the Epic Store to avoid all of the shenanigans that this situation could cause. It looks like with the cash flow that Epic Games is bringing in, they might be the only company capable of going head to head with Steam. I fully expect them to continue snatching exclusives throughout the year, so you might wanna consider downloading the Epic Store because it's going to be a rough year. Anyways, that is pretty much it for the news guys hopefully you've enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button while you drop down to leave a comment down below as usual you can click right here to see the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel it would be greatly appreciated stay frosty guys and i'll see you on the next video which is on wednesday take care guys